What might explain the success of the Sabbath, day of rest strategy used by religions? Perhaps it's a hedge against the harms of transitioning from hunter-gatherer lifestyles to agricultural lifestyles? Or is there a deeper reason? And do any other animals take Sabbath? Um, <clears throat> I think I deployed an answer in one of my very early videos that right after the evergreen thing happened. I you did talk about Sabbath, yeah. I think. Yeah. So the model I've had for Sabbath for a long time is that it is a an instantiation of a... Um, it is an adaptive state that risks a game theoretic failure, and Sabbath is the way to resist the game theoretic failure. And so the way it works is this. Let's say that it is better for society for everybody to take off at least one day a week, that working seven days a week it causes you to distance yourself from your family and it results in all sorts of externalized harms that aren't good for anybody. So there needs to be a rule that says take a day off a week. Mm -hmm. But if you take a day off a week, then you're in a puzzle. Let's say that you're a shopkeeper and what you wanna do is you wanna figure out the day of the week that everybody else is taking off and the shop is closed and then you open your shop up and you clean up because people yep. who are looking to shop on that day come to your shop. And so what that does is it puts everybody in motion trying to figure out whether or not um, a given day is the right one to take off in order to take advantage of the fact that everybody else is not doing the job on that day. So um, this causes another problem, which is it may be that if people are playing that game, trying to find the day on which their shop will do best, that actually you will cheat. And what you will do is you will not close your shop because actually you want to clean up from the days yeah. that everybody is. It's an end run around. It's, it's, a, it's a formalized prescription to avoid the tragedy of the commons. Exactly. And so you might say, well, um, God says take a day off every week and mm -hmm. you can't... And this is the day. And this is the day. And mm -hmm. the thing is, what that allows to happen is that people can enforce God's will mm -hmm. because if you open your shop on the Sabbath, then you're being sacrilegious and people will shun you so that they are not co-stigmatized for shopping on a day that you're not supposed to be selling them stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's the basic point is game yeah. theory explains a formulation in which God picks a day and everybody adheres to it, and anybody who doesn't adhere to it is obviously in violation. That's the way to frustrate the race to the bottom that otherwise unfolds. Yeah, and with regard to any other animals taking Sabbath, we don't know of any other animals that manage to avoid tragedy of the commons, race to the bottom, etc. Um, so, uh, so you know, without any external metaphorical enforcement, like uh, God will frown on this behavior. Uh, I know I know of no such thing. That said, there are regular intervals of rest, but they tend to be imposed by abiotic forces, external abiotic forces like winter. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if there's not some example somewhere, because in Eleanor Ostrom's work, she demonstrates how culture after culture avoids uh, game theoretic failures mm -hmm. through essentially informal agreements that are often enforced through um, religious belief structures. And so what that says is these things evolve, which means there's no bar to them evolving in some creature in which the same bases for such an agreement exist. Well, and so nothing, nothing we know of as religion exists outside of humans, but superstition certainly does. And so something that some superstition that evolved that was, that was adhered to by everyone could look this, well, this what way. You, what you really need is a pen, uh, penalty mechanism. Mm -hmm. Because the problem yeah. is that a free rider that recognizes the opportunity created by everybody else adhering to a superstition is at advantage, which is why the game theory works the way it does. Yeah. And so what you need is a mechanism in which um, collective policing serves this function. But that's not yeah. out of the question in something like uh, dolphins. chimps, dolphins, elephants, elephants, wolves. maybe lions, wolves, that kind of thing. So... Um, Anyway, yes, I, uh, it may occur to us later or somebody may message us with an example, but uh, mm -hmm. it's certainly not, there's nothing about the evolutionary dynamics that prevent it. It's just that most creatures won't have the important feature that lets it work, which is the mechanism to penalize uh, a stranger, to penalize a stranger without a cost that would be prohibitive. Right. Yes.